Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Jacko. It's go either know you don't. Okay, so you guys that have been on this channel for a while know me and technology for some reason don't really mix. So uh, I've been trying to upload this thread. I promised you guys I'd upload on uh, Yami and Belfagor possibly being tied, and it, it just it's just not letting me do it. So um, this video is not going to be really edited too much. I'm really just here to read this to you guys so that. You guys get the thread I promised you. Um, but yeah, if you're not following on Twitter, uh, definitely consider doing so. Uh, I know a lot of you are in the comment sections with uh, questions on some of the theories that I make. Uh, and I, I'm going to state this as many times as I need to. Treat these uh, videos that I make like a series. Uh, it's very rare that I just come up with like a random theory that doesn't connect to something else. Uh, these are more or less all a straight line of thought um that all connect to each other so if something seems out of context uh it's probably because you didn't see another video uh where i probably went into a lot of detail about it but anyway uh let, let me just start reading this so the idea behind this is that i've got to thinking about um oh what well, i just started talking but i i'm literally now reading i guess okay so um i i'll just read it jesus it's not that hard jack come on all right, I got to thinking about some traits Belphegor has. Uh, one of the things he's most noted for is being the demon of the sin of sloth. Then we have Yami, a man who refuses to even fly on a broom and who would much rather use his spatial mage to get him around. And of course you have Fenril. He literally calls him his ride. And I think Fenril even, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so sloth. Um, that's that's just what it is at the end of the day so belphegor is also known for having been sent to earth by satan to see if love was real and attainable belphegor comes to find that there isn't and to relate to siami he doesn't seem to show signs of that deep of a connection with anyone except for charlotte i find this part interesting just because the name rose i know it's rosa lay in uh in the manga but I also don't know if that is just the Japanese way of saying Rosalie, because Rosalie can be traced back to France, and it also means flower of life. So I do find that the connection is clearly there for Charlotte. Uh, and the reason this is important is because Belfagor found France on this mission and found it to be interesting. So if you look at Belfagor, he is the arch demon ruler uh, over France, like specifically, that's where he chose to spend his time his time and energy. So needless to say, Yami and Charlotte have a deeper connection to each other than they show others, but it does seem Yami doesn't have it in him to get himself to close the gap between them. I like this because should any of this be true, the story between these two could go much deeper. And we know Charlotte was cursed and as a result her roses of her briar magic turned blue and i had made a video a few months back detailing the legend of the blue rose which is a tale of a woman looking for true love uh, charlotte has now to an extent released herself of that curse and turned it into a strength but now imagine she's been freed but then the person she's does the person that she desires to be with is no longer reachable, either through death or because Belphegor has found a vessel that seems to fit him best. Um, and I just want to go back and show you guys the pictures that I use. This is, of course, the closest uh, that Yami seemed to have gotten to uh, revealing his feelings about Charlotte, but it was not really there. Um, <laughs> he ends up dropping the ball because he just wanted to talk about a curse. Um, so there's just a struggle but for some reason for Yami to really, you know, get into this whole love story between them. Uh, but back to Yami, Belphegor is also closely tied to toilets and fecal matter. It seems almost too silly that Yami is infamous for spending more time than he needs on the toilet pooping. But we have an entire demon known for that exact thing as well. Uh, you know, in lore, in actual lore. So how silly can it really be before it can be taken into consideration? I made a post about this most recent spoiler. Um, so spoiler alert, if you're on here and you haven't seen anything, um, it's not a huge, huge spoiler, uh, but it is part of the chapter. So if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, just like skip a minute. Uh, but yeah. 
I, I made a I made a post talking about the spoilers about uh, the black stars that seem to be in between all of the memories of Yami collecting his future squad members. It seems to have similar qualities to a black hole, which means it's got enough gravity to attract things. Now these pictures are uh, just from the wiki site. If, so if you want to look at Black Star yourself, feel free. Um, otherwise, it is on my Twitter. It's it's on that post that I'm referring to. So uh, just check it out if you want. Uh, but metaphorically, he drew those members together to make all those separate pictures one giant portrait. And then literally speaking, his magic has been set on multiple occasions to have properties that attract magic to it. If I'm not mistaken, the first account of this was in his fight against Patri, when Patri's light was veering off the original course due to Yami's magic attracting it. Uh, this is the page here where uh, Patri states that his magic was being drawn in. So he even develops the, the magic black hole where he diverts and sucks in incoming attacks. Uh, these are very prominent qualities of a black star. Then we have the astrological sign of Tagirian. Uh, and we just talked about this in the last video as well. Tagirian, which is where Belphegor rules, is correspondent to Tiferet on the Tree of Life, whose astrological sign is the sun. Everything is inverse in the clipbot except for the signs, but in occult lore, this seems to be the only exception along with Lilith. And what I'm talking about is that all of these are signs. So at 10, you have Earth and you have above that 9, which is the moon. However, in the clipbot, of course, there's no dark Earth, really. Um, and in occult lore, they don't say anything that describes anything like a dark Earth. But what they do describe are between 9 and 6, where 9 is the moon on the Tree of Life, and then in the clipbot, that is the dark moon or the dark side of the moon. And then six, where Tagirian is, is usually the sun in the Sephirat, the Tree of Life, where here it is known as the black sun. Uh, so that's very important to note. Um, and these are the only exceptions, it seems. So I've already made the connection of gravity magic and Tagirian being related due to the motion of celestial bodies in our solar system being dictated mostly by the sun. Tagirian being connected to every single realm in the underworld with planetary signs means that brings me to the conclusion that gravity would fit best here. But we also have to consider that Dante's profile has this question mark next to gravity magic, meaning this isn't the true nature of the magic being used, but can be described in such a way. I personally connected this to Vril which is used by dark elves that have healing properties as well as cataclysmic properties uh, that could lay waste to nations. But to dissect this just a little further, the sun is in fact a star. So instead of connecting it to the black sun, we can shift it a bit and relate to Geary into the black star. Now, I've admittedly dropped the ball on making my video on souls in BC only because there's a lot of research, but from some things we've seen in BC uh, and what I've gathered in research is that there is more than one aspect to a soul, anywhere from two to ten souls. The higher amount usually comes from Egyptian mythos, three from traditional Kabbalistic teachings, and then two in Greek mythos. If you watch my video on Yuno, know, you may have heard me say that the soul Yuno know encountered just before he received the second grimoire may have been one part to the highest devil, Lucifer. And no, I don't mean Lucifero. And we're going to talk about that in another video. I, uh, sorry, there's obviously a, a typo here. So with, uh, this means that Yuno know, is the physical portion of Lucifer, making him the perfect vessel. In turn, all of this put together would make Yami the most suitable host for a being like Belphegor. The only thing left here is how exactly would Yami be taken over by Belphegor since demonic possessions usually require some type of mutual agreement. Even lesser possessions need some kind of common ground with Zagreb being smart enough to manipulate the hatred and despair of elves to be able to sneak around. And I use these two pictures specifically because this is obviously uh, part, someone a part of the noble or royal family um, that was willingly working with Zagrid. And just the fact that the, uh, the Shadow Palace was in the capital uh, below those houses of the nobles and royals 
definitely alludes to the fact that uh, these higher families have been working with devils to some extent. Um, that's something I also wanted to talk about, but it might just be a thread on uh, on here on Twitter. Uh, and then I use this because this is also, while the elves more than likely, of course, did not want to align with the devil, uh, their hatred and despair caused them to align. So he manipulated their feelings enough so that when he's in their ear talking, it's easier for him to take over. So while they're not exactly uh, saying like, yeah, Zagreb, take my body, um, they, are, they are logging into those feelings that Zagreb needs to tap into to be able to manipulate them to, uh, to take over. Uh, so it's possible something like this can happen to Yami, which will lead to one of the biggest blows the Black Bulls can take. It's one thing to die, but to become an enemy, a formidable one at that, that needs to be taken down is another thing that can lead wedges that can lead to wedges being made in close relationships. I admit this seems pretty far, but I do like to think of all possibilities, and upon formulating these thoughts, I do bring into consideration how it would make the story more interesting. And I'm not asking you guys to agree or like this, but hopefully it was at least fun to go through this with me. But yeah, conspiracies, collusions, and pooping devils. <laughs> you know, uh, well, even though you don't. Sorry that this is super low quality. I haven't done this type of thing in a while, but hopefully you guys are, are more information uh, driven than production driven. I know production's nice, but uh, I know a lot of my older uh, subs, uh, you guys rock with this anyway, and you guys are information driven, so I, I really thank you guys, but, uh, but yeah, I apologize. Uh, I, this was originally just supposed to be a thread, and so it wasn't supposed to go up on YouTube, but I hope you guys really did enjoy this, but yeah, this has been Jack Oats the Goat, pooping demons and such, you either know, or you don't. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my Catch me howling at the moon